start. Yeah, I guess I'll start the meeting right away. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, that's funny. Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome to tonight's Common Council meeting. Madam City Clerk, quote of the week. Uh, yes, thank you. The reputation of a thousand years may be determined by the conduct of one hour. Thank you very much. Call the 25th regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren? Here. Bulk? Excuse. Decker? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heidemann? Here. Kittleson? Here. Kleunis? Here. Meyer? Here. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Ryan? Here. Surik? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Verhasselt? Here. And Wangaman? Here. 15 present. Quorum is present. Alderman Kittleson, would you lead us in the pledge? Everyone rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Kittleson. Approval of the minutes, Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion and second to approve minutes under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes stand approved. Resignations. Attorney McLean. <coughs> there was a letter dated uh, March 10th to the mayor from Tujer Lee, the, the director of uh, IT, advising that he was resigning his position effective immediately. Any motion to accept? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Resignation is accepted. Public forum? Um, we have Henry Capitillo, but I do not see him in the audience. Okay, we'll move on. Next item is a consent agenda. Before we do that, uh, Mayor Elect Ryan, you'd like to say something? <clears throat> thank you, Mayor Perez, and uh, thank you, everybody here at the council. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my opponent, Terry Van Acker, in the mayoral race. Uh, he ran a very clean race, a very uh, uh, a, a well-run uh, campaign. And I think that uh, these campaigns should be a, uh, an example for how campaigns should be run in Sheboygan. There was no mudslinging. There were no personal attacks. Um, I believe it should be a model for how campaigns are run in the city of Sheboygan, that more people possibly get involved in, uh, in local politics in uh, aldermen races, etc. cetera. Um, one thing I would like to say is uh, on the city committees um, that we have, I would like all of the aldermen to uh, basically put together a wish list of two standing committees and any other committees that you may want to be on. Have that emailed to my, my email address that uh, we can probably try to get people what they want. Also, uh, citizens out there, uh, if uh, anybody is interested in getting on committees, I'm, I'm basically looking for people uh, that have expertise in certain fields and that have an interest in what happens in the city of Sheboygan, please email me your information that we can get, uh, get more people involved in, in our local government. That's what we're looking to do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Consent agenda. Open Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion that uh, all ROs be accepted and placed on file and all RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, could we just pull out document 25-6? Pull um, it for a separate vote? or for a, sep I guess for a separate vote, yes, please. Okay. Do you need a motion? Make need a motion, motion to do that, please. 
Motion. Your the motion is to accept and adopt the report of committee, correct? Correct. Okay, and there's a second. Okay, go ahead. Okay, all we need to do is correct on that document. Um, the communication be accepted and placed on file, and we need to just remove and to approve the request. If you could do that, uh, Madam City Clerk. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, ordinance 25-53 will uh, just uh, go on through as, uh, as written. So okay. there would need to be no amendment. We're making a motion to amend the document. No. Yes, you have to make a motion to amend the document, unless you want to just a correction. We can just do a correction if that's what Everybody you like. Everybody okay with that? Yes. Then we will make a motion. Then you okay. make you already made your motion. Thank Is that okay? That's All right. just fine. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you very Thank much, you very sir. Much. There's a motion and a second to accept and adopt the RC 256 separately. Any other discussion? Oliver for Hassel. Thank you, Your Honor. On item, <clears throat> excuse me, document 25-25, I will support that document or that that. Uh, Item, however, part of that is because the horse is somewhat out of the barn on that one. It's been a, it's been a project that's been work, in the works for some time. But I guess I'd just like this council and planning to give a little stronger consideration in the future to more urban renewal type projects, seeing that nearly half the funds are being spent on this new pavilion, RCDBG type funds, which in my estimation would have more of the spirit towards urban renewal, things like streets, curbs, gutters, sidewalks, security camera lighting, and so on, things that we can do to improve the more blighted, low-income areas of the city. Um, the irony here is that we're, we're building something with funds intended for low income, yet it's something that future users of this are going to have to charge or be charged a user fee, this pavilion. So again, I'd just like to ask the the department and the, the council to give a little stronger consideration to the projects in the future. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Consent agenda. Please call the roll. Boren. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Clyunas. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Zurich. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. And Wangaman. Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions. 2526 and 2527 to be referred. Report of officers two. You've got a light on. Sorry, what? You've got a light on. Oh, Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. On document number 2526, uh, I want to make the same referrals on there to public protection and safety and salary and grievance, but I would like to make that to the new council. I spoke with the current uh, chairpersons of those committees and with just the council you're coming to an end, it's better to send those to the new council. Please make that notation. Uh, 2625 will be referred to those committees as noted of the new council. Alderman Meyer. On 2528, um, Your Honor, thank you. Um, I would make a motion to accept and adopt the RO. Oh, okay. What's it? No, nothing. Go ahead. Okay. The, uh, we, so we had already gone 2526 and 2527, their report of officers. Uh, two, you're making a motion to accept and file. And that is 2528 by the Board of Parks and Forestry Commissioners recommending approval of the agreement between the Town of Wilson and the City of Sheboygan for the shared dog park. Is there a second to that? Second. second. Okay. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Decker. Aye. <clears throat> Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heideman. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Aye. Meyer. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Ryan, Zurich, Vanderweel, Verhasselt, Wangaman, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2529 through 2539 to be referred. Resolutions introduced. 3 2540 by Alderman Gisha authorizing the appropriate city officials to exec execute a consent to sublease to Sheboygan Blue Line Association, sublease to whatever that name is, Wireless <laughs> LLC, DBA, Cellcom. <laughs> I'm not trying it. Oh, Magisha. Thank you. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 
15 ayes. Motion carries. 2541 lies over. 2542 through 2546 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 2547 by Public Works, recommending approving agreement between the Town of Wilson and the City of Sheboygan for the shared dark dog park. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the um, RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. Under discussion, I just wanna say this has been coming for a long time and I wanna thank you, Mayor Perez, for all your hard work. The city has been waiting for a dog park and I just think everybody's gonna be really pleased with the results and thank you very much for all your hard work. You're welcome, thank you. Anything else? There is none, please call the roll. Hannah. Aye. Heideman. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clyunas. Aye. Meyer. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Surik, Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Wongaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Decker, Aye. and Gisha. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2548 to be referred. <coughs> Report of Committee 7, 2549 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operators license application number 8159 based upon the applicant's failure to include all relevant convictions on the application, the record of violations related to the license activity, and failure to cooperate with the committee. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, is Michael Sturm here tonight? He's not here, Your Honor. Thank you, please proceed. Uh, Mr. Sturm had uh, two opportunities to uh, appear before the committee. Uh, he chose not to do so and also uh, failed to include all of his convictions on his application. So therefore, it was a unanimous decision by the committee to uh, deny his uh, beverage operator's license. Thank you, Mr. President Board. Further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warren, aye. Decker, aye. Gisha, aye. and Hannah. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2550 by Committee of the Whole, recommending filing documents regarding the contract for the 2009 Concrete Sidewalk Program. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I would like to make a motion to refer this to the Finance Committee. Second. Motion and second to refer to com Finance Committee under discussion on the... Under discussion... Uh, 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 I've been working and Alderman Gish has been working with uh, our finance director, Terry Hansen, to come up with some funds for the sidewalk project and it appears that uh, Mr. Hansen has found some funds that we can possibly go ahead with this. So rather than filing this coming out of committee a whole, we want to send it to finance for action. Good. Thank you. Alderman Gisha. Thank you. I also wanted to add a thanks to Attorney McLean who brought up some interesting points at the Committee of the Whole regarding um, uh, the um, issues regarding um, liability when it comes to not having a sidewalk program. Uh, and we, I thank him for bringing that back to our attention and spurring us on and working on this. Okay, anything else? There is none, please call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Clay Can I ask the question again? To, uh, to refer to finance. You know what, I'll just take a voice There's vote. A voice All in vote. favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Done. We we'll move on. 2551 okay. 25, to be referred. A report of Committee 8, 2552 by Committee of the Whole, recommending amending resolution number 1250809, approving the 2009 2013 capital improvements program for the city of Sheboygan and passing the attached substitute resolution. Who wants to take this one? Holman Gisha. Oh. Gee, thanks. That was your, uh, <laughs> your, honor. Your, your idea. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I, uh, I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. And put the resolution. And put, a, and put the resolution upon its passage. A motion and second. Under discussion. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, again, I know we talked about this in committee at great length here a few weeks ago, but I do feel strongly about how we allocate the limited resources that we do have. Um, and I do understand that there have been discussions underway with the county for a number of months, but I just, again, I, I asked the council to consider the fact that the flooding that 
some of this money could help mitigate has been underway for years. The flooding that we've been experiencing in some of the neighborhoods around the city has been underway for years. So I'd like to make a motion to strike the language on the, the CAD EMS software, which in turn leaves the rest of the funding exactly how it's worded for the flood mitigation across the city. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Motion and second. Under discussion on the motion to strike. Alderman Gisha. Oh, and then I'll go to you, Alderman Collins. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I understand Alderperson Verhassel's uh, point, but uh, we made a commitment to the county in this. It affects not just this one expenditure, it affects potential savings and shared services expenditures for years and years and years and years and years to come. You can't, hopefully we don't look at it as just a, a one expenditure. This is a, a partnership that we went into with the county with their expectation and our promise to work with them on this. And it was, the, uh, it was a, res a year later, we now pull it all away. We're the ones who initiated this. It wasn't the county. We did initiated this. And to make that change now uh, would be disastrous, I think, to our relationship with the county at a time when we need that relationship and future opportunities, which are under discussion as we speak, uh, to help us uh, all with our budget crunch. This is, it would be, I believe, a, an error and a short-sighted error. I do understand the, the flooding issues. There's no question about it. And uh, there are, there's work underway right now to free up funds to do that. Um, I believe we need to hold the money as it is, and I, and I, I strongly urge my colleagues to vote no on this amendment. Uh, it would be uh, a disaster long term for the city. Just try to look longer term than this one vote. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Clayness. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I, uh, I can understand the urgency of this. The only thing is that software is never considered a capital improvement. Um, it seems like it's misplaced here um, because it's a, an operating expense. Uh, the other thing about the, the software, I'm wondering whether uh, Mr. Hansen can find money for that as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're a miracle worker, but I do think <clears throat> I do think that there might be funds somewhere else in, I don't know, CBG or whatever it is or something. This is a government uh, software program that is somehow to enhance government services and things. And I think I would, I, would like to, I'm, I would like to be for the amendment to hold this, to look for the money more. Not to say that we're not going to keep our promise to the county. I want to keep our promise to the county because I am for this at all, you know, for this sharing of services. But I just think this is the wrong place to put it. And... Um, I also think stormwater can get a couple. This I think this is two hundred fifty thousand dollars, if I'm correct. Uh, the software would cost that much, so I know it's not just a, a couple pennies. That's quite a bit of money. But I would hope somewhere that we would have some fund that we could uh, assign to that, or some money from that fund. Okay. And we have Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. And I believe we've also made commitments to our taxpayers. We have people that. Their basements flood every time it rains. We have people sitting on their lawns and canoes because it's raining. And I think we should prioritize, and our taxpayers, our citizens, should come first. We've had these programs in place for years. They've been ignored. People are very upset that their stormwater uh, flooding problems are not going to be fixed now after we made commitments to these people. And I think we should be prioritizing where we're spending our money. Thank you. And I'd just like to add uh, that I concur with Alderman Meyer and Alderman Verhasselt here. Uh, the, the, the promise to the county, I envision, we made a promise to these taxpayers who have their homes flooded. Alderman Boren and Alderman Heidemann went with me to talk to them at one time. That was the next project that was coming up. Disasters in the long term. My God, what can be more disasters in the long term and people's basements and yards flooding all the time? Um, I concur with your comments. Alderman Verhassel, you're next. <clears throat> you know, again, on the, I'm a strong advocate. Anybody who's talked to me about opportunities that may exist between the county and the city, they know that I'm a strong advocate of working together with the city. So it's certainly something that I want to be to and be careful about that we don't make any long-term damage there. However, again, you know, I, I'd just love to see a commitment to our constituents here. I've got two meetings left to go before I leave as Alderman here, and it would just be a sweet surprise. Um, you know, speaking long-term, as Alderman Gisha pointed out, 
long term, if we continue to neglect this, as we have over the last number of years, it contributes to something that I've seen. And it's not all flood related, but flood issues do contribute, if neglected, to urban decay, lower property values and everything else. So I mean, it's again, it's something long term we should consider in that respect as well. Yep. Just a correction. I'm a little surprised, Mayor. It was your administration the start of this software project? Well, you're the one. I, who, and I also the, started the. Uh, you're the one who, flood mitigation. Sorry, I have the floor, sir. You do. Uh, the, and, and now to suddenly say, basically a, a backhand to the county. I, uh, I have to disagree. Very good, and I do disagree. Anything else? Please call the roll on the on the motion to strike. Everybody knows what it is. Motion to strike, and I would be to strike that wording. Okay. Clayunas. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. No. Excuse me. No. Ryan. No. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Wangaman. No. Boren. No. Decker. No. Gisha. No. Hannah. No. Heidemann. No. Kittleson. No. Six ayes, nine noes. Motion fails on the original motion to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Please call the roll. Meyer. No. Montemayor. No. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. No. Wangaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Heidemann, Aye. Kittleson, no. and Clayunas. No. Ten eyes, five noes. Motion carries. Ordinance is introduced 10, 25, 53, lies over. 25, 54 uh, will be referred to city plan. 25, 55, lies over. Other matters, Attorney McLean. <clears throat> Twenty-five fifty-seven is a uh, communication from Jolene Hendricks, the Special Events and Hospitality Coordinator for the John Michael Kohler Art Center, requesting permission for one additional double-sided banner advertising the American Story Exhibition opening and celebration to be hung in late May. Goes to Public Works. 2558 is a communication from Gerald Binversey complaining about the loud music coming from the Blue Line Ice Center. Public protection and safety. 2559 is a communication from Roberta Fel Felicki Paneski of the Altrusa Club of Sheboygan notifying the city that as of the 2009 spring summer season, they will no longer be planting, weeding, and water the garden on the 8th Street swing south of Pennsylvania Avenue and offer assistance in design and purchasing the plantings each spring to another group that may wish to take on this project. Ed will go to Public Works. 2560 is a communication from Chris Krenz, Service Project Committee Co-Chair of the Early Bird Rotary Club, requesting permission to hold their annual lobster boil on July 24, 2009, and making various other requests. Ed goes to Public Works, too. 2561 is a communication from the State of Wisconsin Department of Corrections, filing a request for a blanket waiver allowing the Department of Corrections to place registered sex offenders in their transitional living placements located at 1123, 1125 North 14th Street and 930A Michigan Avenue. And goes to public protection and safety. 2562 is a communication from the State of Wisconsin Department of Corrections filing an appeal to the sex offender residency restrictions on behalf of Sean M. Pope. And will be referred to public protection and safety also. 2563 is a claim from Catherine Hamilton for alleged damages to her vehicle when she hit a pothole while driving north on North 10th Street. Risk management. 2564 is submitting as a matter of record a communication from Kevin Kennedy, Director and General Counsel of the Government Accountability Board, stating that they are distributing $2,500 to the City of Sheboygan Clerk to be used to improve the collection and report of election data more efficiently and accurately and improve the conduction of elections in general. That lies over. 2565 is a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the agreement for the shared town of Wilson City of Sheboygan Dog Park. That too lies over. 2566 is a resolution authorizing application for 2009 Justice Assistance Grant Program Award 
and enter, entering into Memorandum of Understanding with Sheboygan County. Goes to Finance and Public Protection and Safety. 2567 is a submitting a request from Steve Hamilton for a waiver for the Sex Offender Residency Ordinance. That goes to Public Protection and Safety. 2568, submitting a letter from Tommy Brown requesting a waiver for the Sex Offender Residency Ordinance. Also to Public Protection and Safety. 2569 is submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2009 and June 30, 2010. That will go to Law and Licensing. 2570, submitting a communication from Larry Hillboink, Building Inspection Department, requesting on behalf of Paulette Enders $200 to have a licensed contractor give them an estimate on how much it will cost to bring the property at 630 South 13th Street into a habitable condition. That will be referred to finance. 2571 is a communication from Karen Kuhlman regarding major water issues she has been having at 4548 South 14th Street. That will be referred to Public Works. Uh, President Hanna, I need a motion as stated there. Make it please. Certainly. Convening closed session. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion under the exemption provided under Section 1985 1G Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of conferring with legal counsel for the city who is rendering oral advice concerning strategy to be adopted with respect to litigation which <clears throat> is involved in the claim number 3808 regarding tax parcel 431734, uh, also 2536 in RC. Uh, by the Special Committee on Risk Management, recommending the authorization of settlement per Common Council closed session discussion regarding the summons and complaint in the matter of Walgreen Company versus the City of Sheboygan. Mouthful. Is there a second to that? Second. Second. Under discussion, just like to let the public know that we will go into closed session. Everyone but the Council will stay. For the public that's watching, uh, after we come back to uh, reconvene an open session, we will uh, no longer be on TV. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. It was a mouthful. <laughs>